Hi everyone, it's Lisa Stenz from Lisa's Creative Corner. Welcome to the last day of the Creative Design Team's Perfect Pandemic Presence video collaboration. We wanted to share some fun gift ideas that you can create this holiday season that are not only easy and inexpensive, but also safe to give during this uncertain time. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this mug filled with warm cozy socks that look like whipped cream and some hot cocoa with a melt away Santa. Then I'll show you how to make a cute tag to tie it all together. We're going to start out by using this red mug that I got at the Dollar Tree. It's a great place to get some inexpensive gifts that you want to uh, spruce up and decorate. I found a cute image on Close to My Heart's Season of Joy Cricut collection and I die cut it out of a piece of white vinyl and I'm just using my piercing tool to weed out all the excess uh, portions of this die cut. There's so many little nooks and crannies in this intricate uh, image and so using the piercing tool really helps to get those little nooks and crannies cleared out. And what I like to do when I have a lot of pieces to weed is I like to get a piece of washi tape and just fold it up, stick it right next to my um, image that I am weeding out and that way I can easily get those extra little pieces off of whatever tool I'm using to uh, to do the weeding. So now I'm just using a piece of transfer tape so that I can easily transfer this image from that vinyl sheet onto my mug. Once I feel like it's transferred onto that tape uh, really well, I'm going to go ahead and peel off the backing of that vinyl and then I'm going to take my mug and press the transfer sheet directly onto it and I'm going to do the best that I can to center it. I'm just eyeballing it here. Um, but once you have it down, you really don't want to move it. <laughs> you want to just press down all those areas as best as you can. And I'm just using my fingernail and then rubbing um, everything down just to make sure all of those little edges and corners are on nice and tight. And I noticed there's a couple of little spots that got a tiny bit wrinkled and I'm just using my fingernail to go over those spots and um, smooth them out. I'm going to use my piercing tool just to get into a couple of those little corners that look like they weren't pressed down all the way or if there's a little little piece that's hanging over. Um, those piercing tools are great for all kinds of stuff and I use mine a lot. Once I have this image all cleaned up, I'm going to go ahead and set the mug aside. So I'm going to pull out my white fluffy socks that I got at Ross. I've also found them in the past at Big Lots and the Dollar Tree and Walmart. And what you're going to do is you're going to roll them up and offset them just a little bit so that it looks like it's swirling up. And then stick it inside the mug so it looks like whipped cream's coming out the top. So now we're going to go ahead and set that aside and work on the tag. And I chose to use the November stamp of the month called You Wore My Heart, mostly because it had this cute saying on it, which is wishing you a cozy holiday, which I thought was perfect to use with the cozy socks and the hot chocolate. And the images are super cute also. So I'm just inking up this cup image with some candy apple ink. And I like to stamp my images a couple of times just in case I make a mistake or if I want to make a, a bunch of them at the same time. So I stamped three of the cups and I'm going to go ahead and stamp three of the lids as well. And I'm using the intense black ink for the lid because I'm going to be coloring it in with some Spectrum Noir alcohol markers and the intense black ink won't bleed. And I'm using that same intense black ink to stamp these flowers. Again, so when I color the flowers in the ink and outline won't bleed. So now I'm going to use the candy apple ink again to stamp a few of these little candy canes. They're just so cute. And they gave me the idea to add a candy cane to my mug. So you'll see in the finished pictures that there's a little candy cane in that mug. So now I'm stamping the sentiment on a little white tag that I cut out with the Cricut machine. And these are the colors that I'm going to use to color in the images. So I'm going to use the uh, tri-blend markers to color in the leaves and the flowers. And the great thing about these markers is that each marker has three different shades of the same color. So I like to go over the colors um, on top of each other to help blend them. 
and I'm coloring in a couple of the flowers at the same time. It just kind of saves time. So you'll notice on the inside of the flower, I use the darkest color, and then I use the medium color here, and then I'll use the lightest color on top, and I go over everything just to blend all three shades together. So I finished with the flowers, and now I'm going to go ahead and color in the lids to these cups. And I'm using this brown gray color, and I'm not the best at coloring or shading, uh, so this is how I do it. There might be a better way to do it, but I'm taking the lightest color and coloring in most of the whole image, and I'm going very lightly and just sort of flicking it on the edges and then filling it in in the center. And then I'm going to take the darkest color and go around the outer edge and just kind of flick it in just a little bit on both sides, both edges. And the idea here is I'm going to try to create a highlight in the middle. And in order to do that, you want to have the darkest edges on the outsides and the lightest area in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead now with the the middle color and I'm going to try to blend that darkest color in just a little bit and then I'm going to go ahead and go in with the lightest color and blend those together again. Now by starting with the lightest color on um, as the base it's going to help the colors blend together even better. These markers are just really great at blending. So you can see here I just went over it with the lightest color and now I'm going back again on the edges with the darkest color to try to give those shadows just a little bit more depth. And then I'm going to go ahead and go over the entire thing one more time with the lightest color just to blend it a little bit more. And I think I did a pretty good job creating some depth. I If I went back and did it again I might take my blending tool and just kind of erase some of that center area just to give it a little bit more of a highlight, but I think this is gonna work out just fine. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take that same marker to add a little bit of shading on the edges of my stamped cup. You wanna be really careful when you go on top of a stamped image because when you use a dye-based ink like I did with this red ink, when you go on top of it with the alcohol markers, it will bleed really, really easily. So you don't want to go over it too many times. I just went over it real lightly and I think it gave it just enough depth. So after cutting out all of my images with my micro tip scissors, I realized that the edges of this lid had a little bit of white showing. So I just took the black marker um, in the Spectrum Noir set and I went along the edges to just help clean it up a little bit and I think it really helped to clean up those white edges. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the tag together. So I'm going to take the white portion of the tag that I stamped the sentiment on and I'm going to layer it on top of a scarlet piece of cardstock. And I'm just going to adhere it with some liquid glue. And then I cut a little teeny tiny circle from the same red cardstock and I'm going to go ahead and adhere that right to the top. Then I'm going to put that cup together and adhere that on the left side. That's why I stamped the sentiment a little bit off to the right so that I would have room to add that cup on the left side. I'm using a small piece of thin 3D foam tape to adhere the lid and this just gives it a little bit more depth and gives it a true shadow underneath. And I'm going to use an eighth of an inch hole punch just to punch a hole right in the center of that red circle. So now I'm going to adhere that cup to the left side of the tag. And again, I'm going to use another piece of the thin 3D foam tape. And I realized that I put the foam tape a little bit too close to the edge. So I'm just going to peel it off and slide it over and just move it a little bit closer to the center. That way it'll balance it out when it's on the tag. So I'm going to add this little candy cane that I cut out and I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and stick it directly to that foam tape and that way I can just adhere the whole thing to the side of the tag and then I'll cover up that area with this flower because without it it looks a little bit awkward since it's not completely sticking out of the cup. And now we're ready to put the whole package together. So here I have my mug and you can see I added the candy cane there 
and I got some Swiss Miss that I actually got at the Dollar Tree, so very inexpensive, and then this cute little hot chocolate melt away Santa, which also came from the Dollar Tree. And I found this cellophane bag in my stash. I save bags and all kinds of stuff, and so this just happened to be a good size cellophane bag. So I put everything in the bag and bunched it up at the top and grabbed my tag. And I had added a little bit of twine to the top. This is some leftover twine from Close to My Heart. Uh, we used to carry this red and white twine a while ago, so I had some of that left over. And I'm just going ahead and tying that on um, in a bow and fiddling with the bow, as I always do with my bows. <laughs> and I'm just going to cut off the tails a little bit, and then it'll be finished. And it's a super cute, inexpensive gift that you can give to anyone, a coworker, a neighbor, a friend, a teacher, or anyone that you might want to bless during this holiday season. I hope you found some inspiration today in my video, and I hope you will check out the other Creative Design Team members videos as well. They have lots of great, inexpensive, practical ways that you can bless someone this holiday season during this uncertain pandemic time. I'll put a link to each of their videos down below along with the link to all of the supplies that I used in my project. I hope you stay safe and healthy this holiday season. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye!